Hello boys and girls and welcome to Rosalie and friends and we're so glad you're here today and Meatball is here. I haven't seen you in a long time Meatball. Where have you been? Oh well, I've been everywhere. Everywhere? Oh yeah with no snow. A moose can travel a long ways. Yeah we haven't had a lot of snow but you've been everywhere. Why are you traveling all over the place? Oh because I'm moose hunting. Moose hunting? Seriously? Yep. You actually are hunting a moose so that you can eat the meat? Oh no, of course not. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. Well, what do you mean by moose hunting? Well, I've been on my own for so long because I've been self-isolating. Oh. That I'm lonely. I want to find some of my friends. So I'm hunting for moose. Oh, that's what you mean. You're looking for other moose. That's right. And I've been everywhere. Like where? Well, I've been to Outer Cove and Flat Rock and Pooch Cove and Maddox Cove. And I've been to Cape Steer. Oh dear, you have been a long ways away. That's right. I'm traveling all the time. Well, I wish I had a superpower. What superpower? Oh, the power to be everywhere at the same time. Well, that's not really a superpower. It's not? No, nobody has that ability. Except for God. He does? Yes. How does he do that? Well, in Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 24, our verse today, God asks a question and he says, Can a man hide himself? in a secret place that I cannot see him, says the Lord. Do I not fill the heavens and the earth, says the Lord. God is so big that there's no place we can go that he isn't already there. Oh, wow. That's a lot to think about. Yeah, it is a lot to think about. And you know that David in the Bible, he asked the Lord some questions. He said, where can I go? that you aren't already there, Lord. If I go into the heavens, you are there. If I go into the place of death, you are there. If I ride on the wings of the morning, like fly in the air, you are there. And if I make my home in the depths of the deepest sea, even there you will guide me with your hand and protect me with your strong hand. See, David went through some very difficult times in his life when he was probably very afraid. People were seeking to kill him. They were seeking his life. And during these difficult times, David remembered that no matter what he was going through or what was happening around him, when everything seemed to be falling apart, he was never alone. God was always there with him. Oh, wow. That's a really big God. It is a really big God that he's always with there. And he's just waiting for us to call out to him, to talk to him in prayer, because he's always there. You know what? What? I still want to find my new friends, though. Well, I can understand that. Sometimes we get lo we get lonely for friendship. That's right. And you know where I think I'm gonna look? Where? At Butterpot Park. Oh, Butterpot Park. Yes, I've heard there's a lot of moose there. Yeah, in our favorite spot. What's your favorite spot? Oh, in the middle of the road, right in front of the park. <laughs> of course it is. Yes. Well, you just might find them there. But remember, when you do. You've got to remember, you've got to stay six feet apart. Oh, no, it's only two feet. No, it's six. No, it's two, because I already have four feet. <laughs> yes, that's right, Meatball. Say goodbye, Meatball. Goodbye, Meatball. Yeah. Bye, boys and girls. Thanks for listening. Remember, God loves you, and he's always there. <laughs>